Mary Mead, everyone. I just wanted to do a brief video um, from my car about uh, Dress Like a Goddess Week. I am on day four of Dress Like a Goddess Week. It started on Sunday. Every day I've been posting pictures on my Facebook of the look I went with. And at first I was a little hesitant. I've been really nervous. And, and I am, I'm just a nervous being in and of myself. But this week I was a little nervous because I knew I, I kind of felt like I'd, I'd like to try this. I'd like to try that. I love the retro look. I love the pinup look. Um, and I really wanted to try to emulate that. But I can never get the makeup right. I can never do my hair quite right. I don't have patience for my hair at all. On Sunday, I'm in a wedding with my little girl and I have to do both of our hair. Mama was not cut out for this, but I've kind of got out on a limb and I've tried and not succeeding as well as most, but I feel good. I like it. I, I like seeing myself reflected back. I like taking these chances. So long I, I've said, you know, I can't pull off this look because I'm chubby. I can't pull off this look because I don't, I have th super thin hair, which is, yeah, it's a thing. I can't wear, I've always worn a lot of makeup, but I've always kind of felt bad about it since really proclaiming and taking back, taking that title of witch on me. I felt almost wrong in doing it. And I know that's crazy. I, I am aware that is not so because we have such strong witches out there um, who have tutorials on how to do makeup. You have these beautiful witches and they're they're showing these these products that are just awesome and how to apply it and how to make your yourself look this way and that way. And I'm just in awe of them. But in the same breath, every time I want to take that step and be like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this. I I get nervous that someone will look at me and go, Psh, you're a witch. Then why are you wearing so much mascara, sweetie? Or really, hun? You're wearing those? Boyfriend cut jeans with chubby girls? Not such a good thing. I can see your cankles. You know, I, I have all these concerns and all these worries. And dress like a goddess week for some reason? They've all been muted. And I love it. it and it syncs so well with uh, Self Love September because normally I would never go to work, you know, with a scarf in my hair like this and trying to do the little bouffant bump and trying to do the dramatic eyes. And you can't really see the outfit, but it's still kind of, I, I've got skulls all over. Um, I, I wear skulls all the time. That's nothing new, but <laughs> it, it's just, I don't know. It, it's something where I can see someone else wearing certain things or doing certain things with their hair or makeup. And I go, oh, I wish I could do that. And for once I'm trying, not necessarily succeeding because again, I love the girly stuff. I don't know that I excel at it, but I'm trying and <laughs> I'm having fun while doing it. And I think that is just such a rejuvenation of spirit. And I think it is such a huge connection to the goddess and nature because so often we so often as women and men and witches, I think we have these roles and these, um, I don't want to say boundaries or stereotypes, but yeah, stereotypes. I, we have these things that we're supposed to kind of fit into. Um, I'm chubby. I, I am. I am working on loving that and accepting that. I am working on, okay, is this really an issue for me? Health-wise, I'm still very healthy. I can't run, but I am healthy. <laughs> Although I think not running is an issue. <laughs> But anyway, um, but I, I'm trying to look at my weight as, is this something that is an issue for me? And if it is, do something. Don't just sit there and cry and moan about belonging on Java's barge. Do something. Um, 
And until you do something, figure out a way for it to work. As Tim Gunn would say, make it work. And so often I think I'm chubby, therefore I can't wear this or I can't go here or I can't do this. That's in my head. And if it's in anyone else's head, oh well, that's on them. It ain't on me. So often I look at myself and go, I'm a mom. Moms aren't supposed to dress like this. Moms aren't supposed to have tongue piercings. I do. I'm not getting rid of it. I love it. I, I don't know that it makes me an individual. It's just part of me. And I'm in the same way, I look at myself at times and go, I'm a witch. And I don't know that witches can wear makeup like I do. I don't know that they can... You know, I, I I relate very much being a witch with being a strong feminine uh, role model. And feminine is not womanly. Feminine, uh, feminine is... I, I don't base that on gender. Um, I, I base it on being goddess-like. That, that's a better way of looking at it because male witches, sweetie, you are closer to the sacred feminine than I will ever be at times. There are some male witches out there where it's like, you are just connected to her, dude. And I am enamored with that. So, so that's kind of what I'm relating to is people that are connected to the sacred feminine or the sacred goddess. I, I want to have that aura to me and I oftentimes oh well if I'm not you know displaying a pentacle what does that mean if I have my face all done up what does that mean if I'm trying to emulate someone else's look what does that mean does that mean I'm not a strong witch no I am a witch I might look at myself and not like everything about me that doesn't mean I don't like me. There might be things I want to change, but I like who I am. And that makes me a strong person. As far as being a witch, I am a witch. It, it doesn't matter if I wear makeup. It doesn't matter if I take an hour or two to do my hair in the morning. It doesn't matter that, yes, I like to go shopping and I do like to think of the materialistic, mundane things from time to time. I, I, I'm starting to go on a tangent. I can feel it. I'm sorry. I, I really have a point that I feel driven to convey. Um, I'm going to just jump to it because I'm already over eight minutes. I'm sorry for rambling. <laughs> the point is Dress Like a Goddess Week, Self Love September. These are huge, powerful movements for a man, for a woman, for a witch, for a non witch. These are awesome things to look at. Connect with spirituality. What does spirituality mean with you? Does that mean you have to be at your altar or in your spiritual realm 24 7? Dear God, no. It, it shouldn't. Because it should be you enjoying your life as well. It should be you having fun and exploring. And you know what? Part of that is making mistakes. Part of that is trying on silly outfits and trying it out and going, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> it's, it's about finding yourself. And if I'm in meditation all the time, as, as enlightening as that could be, I'm not putting my spiritual tools and spiritual findings into use in my everyday life. And that is where you're going to connect things. That is where God and goddess and spirit realm connect with the physical and the mundane. And that is where you bring your magic into your everyday life. And I struggle with, with judgment from, 
I don't even want to say witches. I think it's just people in general who have ideas on who we are supposed to be as people. If you're a mom, this is who you are. If you are a woman, this is who you are. If you are a man, this is who you are. If you are, if it gets into, you know, sexual orientation, it gets into jobs, it gets into a political party. Let's just be us. Let's focus on what we want, on what we enjoy, on what we like. If you like dressing a certain way, go for it. If you like putting makeup on, go for it. If you don't like putting makeup on, if you look at yourself in the mirror and go, nope, not my bag, don't do it. You're beautiful. If you do like putting makeup on, you don't need it. But go for it. If that's what you like, go for it. We are going to resonate with things and jive with things because that's us. Let's just be us. And I think that's what the point is. I think that's what the goddess was trying to get through to me today was the reason why I'm enjoying this week so much, despite all the stress, despite all the heartbreak and tears, because yeah, that's been there too this week. I enjoy a lot of what I am feeling in between those times. And it is because I'm just being me all the time. I'm not hiding who I am at work as much. I'm not finding ways around explaining why I want to craft on a certain night. I, I'm not... I'm not... I don't want to say compromise because I, I think we all do compromise, but I'm not feeling like I'm having to compromise. It's not an obligated compromise um, to mesh my spiritual world with my mundane world. And self-love September, Goddess Week, when people say let your inner goddess show, let it out, that's what they're saying. Be you and rejoice in it. Love it. Because that's what we're going for. Are you going to love yourself all the time? Oh, no. <laughs> we're human. There's going to be times where you look at yourself and go, yeah, that's what I got to work with. All right. Good to know. But for all intents and purposes, we're pretty awesome. There's no one else out there like you. There's no one else out there like me. And the world is probably very glad there's no one else out there like my daughter because she will be the world destroyer one day. I'm pretty sure. The point is, we are all creatures of the goddess. We're all her children. And she rejoices in us daily. So maybe we need to take a little bit of time to reflect on what that means and to let that shine. If you like something, let it be so. If you like a dress, wear it. If you like a pair of shoes and you can afford it because being fiscally responsible is a deal, get them. If you, if you are a guy and you like to wear pink, wear that pink. Who gives a crap what anyone else says or thinks? And if someone else wants to pass judgment, dude, that's on them. That's their karma. Don't bring it into you. It's easier said than done. So much easier said than done. But it's the truth. And that is what Goddess Week is teaching me. That is what Self Love September is teaching me. Is if I like something, go for it. My guy gave me a little bit of crap about the whole pinup girl look. I laughed at him. I'm like, dude, I think I look cute. And I do. Even if someone else saw my picture and went, oh, really? If someone commented on, like that on Facebook or a coworker looked at me and went, oh, so you're trying to look like so-and-so. No, just being me. So go out there and be you. Now that I've taken 15 minutes of your time. <laughs> anyway, I just really felt driven to ramble like that and share it and... I am so jazzed 
to be a part of this, to just this life, you know, to be a part of goddess and be a part of the awake. And I'm over 15 minutes. I'm so sorry. Have many blessings. I will make a video later tonight. Hopefully YouTube will let me do upload everything like it should. Um, get up. Get out. Be you. Be happy. Bye, guys. <laughs>